man? What's hey, up? Hey, what's up, man? Nice to see you. Come nice on in. Come yeah, on for in. sure. Thanks for coming by. Hey, yeah, yeah. and I teach music as well to kids but uh and to adults I guess but uh yeah I think I'm a musician but also I just love guitar so much everything about guitar ever since I was like I don't know ever since I can remember I've been collecting guitar magazines and looking at guitars and talking about guitars and talking about music and my heroes who are all guitar players <laughs> So, yeah, man, I'm just a dude who's passionate about that stuff, I guess. Mm -hmm. Music was always in my life because my sister was a professional opera singer, which is a little fun fact about me. Um, yeah, so, like, I used to go see her do crazy arias and, like, all this crazy opera stuff, and it, I think that's probably when I started really getting into it. I was, like, in choir and stuff uh, earlier, but, yeah, and then I started playing guitar with my best friend in junior high. And we got super competitive about it, so we just, yeah, didn't look back from there, I guess. I, I had had a guitar kicking around at my house, and I always kind of played it. But yeah, like, when it comes to actually, like, taking it seriously and kind of getting my butt into gear, I'd say high school. High school is when I started doing my scales, my chords, and all that good, good stuff. Fun stuff. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I play really cheap, cheap gear because... I think if I had a super expensive piece of gear, I'd be so choked if I broke it. Whereas if I have a $200 guitar, it's like, you know, it's not a big deal if you break it. And like, I read so many interviews with like, uh, like dudes like Jack White from the White Stripes and like, uh, uh, what's that guy? Terry, I think Terry Cates or I can't remember. He's in a band called Chicago, which is a super old school type band, but, uh, that guitar player. And they used to like kind of say that. They like guitars that they're almost fighting against the entire time. So it's like you get a cheaper guitar and it almost like inspires you to go that extra bit to make the sound come out, you know. So mostly like cheaper fenders and I've got a couple couple nicer guitars that I don't bring out for anyone to see. <laughs> So this guy is like a Fender Squire Stratocaster that actually still has the sticker on it from Long and McQuaid, 1996. I didn't buy it in 96, but I have gotten it since then. And it's weird because I've had a Fender Stratocaster, like a real deal Fender Stratocaster before. And I actually sold it as soon as I got this one because I like this one better. But I think the story goes, and you know, maybe if someone ever sees this and knows the real story, from what I know, is they like shipped American parts to the Squire factory for this like elusive run of Japanese, because it's like, where is it? Yeah, it's a Mexican Fender Squire. So it's made in Mexico, which Fender Squires usually aren't made in. But I guess they sent like cool parts to the factory and the dragon sticker, I had it. But yeah it's got some wood i put some wood in the back because if you don't put wood in it this thing because there's springs in the back if you like bend a gnarly note this will actually come out and your entire guitar will go out of tune so what you do is you put a little bit of wood in there and it keeps everything fine and dandy for all those gigs that you don't want to be out of tune like i said snark gets me in tune the wood keeps me in tune and then this is my tally Classic Vibes, if anyone at, who watches this video wants a cheap guitar that plays probably as good as a lot of Telecasters that I've uh, played before, man, like I'm not trying to endorse anything, but like I'm in love with all my gear. But yeah, Tellys are so rad. They're super cool. They're super twangy. I'm like into kind of old school country now and then. So this gets that fix out. And like... One of my buddies who I work with, he was like on the like old school Nashville kind of like country TV show circuit, like, you know, like the Yeehaw show, like that kind of stuff. 
he was in like a band for one of those and I was talking to him about, about guitars and he's like man you gotta get a Telecaster because you could shovel snow with it and it'll still stay in tune like they're such workhorses and I brought this all the way across Canada like twice with Windigo and yeah it like totally survived and I think this was in a soft case on tour and it still survived and that's saying something and the neck is rad and everything everything about it's great really so classic vibe fender telecaster <laughs> i don't think i get you got like a pretty rad music scene going on right now there's a lot of venues that are booking all the time specifically like kind of newer indie rock kind of acts and or i guess all kind of acts i really like calgary it's like a weird bubble in canada because yeah like there's just so much different stuff going on it's really cool my day job is going in and teaching uh people guitar and then usually, so I'll usually do that from like two till nine or one till nine every weekday and then gig after and then on weekends gig. So basically just music all the time, not to mention like kind of the lessons that I take with a lot of dudes, like the amount of practice that you got to do always gets raised and raised. So man, like I try to get two hours at least in and then I go into my studio and play for about seven hours and then if I'm gigging later that night, that's like maybe another half hour, hour. So, yeah. Uh, this one's called Nookie Monster. <laughs> <laughs> I heard about Jimmy Page and like how before he was in Led Zeppelin he'd be a studio like session player. What he'd be doing is a whole lot of essentially he was, I think I read a statistic saying he was like on 80% of the records that came out of England at one point. So like he just did so much work and I was like that's the coolest thing ever being like a session guitar player, being the dude that they call if you know they need a guy to play guitar. So ever since I was really young I've tried to do so many different genres like blues jazz like afro-cuban music like all that kind of stuff country i guess old school country more so than the new newer kind of style but Oh, by the way, I'm endorsing Snark. I'm putting Snark on the map right now. <laughs> Snarks are tight. Okay, okay, roll <laughs> Snarks. Snark, you guys like people. being in tune? I like being in tune. Snarks like you being in tune. Don't be out of tune. <laughs> <laughs>